Here in Oklahoma, we're familiar with the initiative petition process. Of course, citizens gather signatures in order to put an issue to a statewide vote. Well, this week, the Senate passed a bill to make it more difficult for citizen-led initiative petitions to get on the ballot. News 4's Bria Berry joins us now live at the state capitol with more on that. Good morning, Bria. Hey, good morning, and yes, that is correct. We are talking about the process for citizens to get an issue on the statewide ballot. Now, in recent years, there have been a few issues where the citizens of Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma and the state lawmakers have been at odds, like expanding Medicaid and medical marijuana. And Senate Bill 518, if it passes, the measure adds more requirements for a citizen initiative petition to get on the ballot. 518 would increase the protest period to challenge the signatures on the ballot title. It would change to 20 days from the current 10 days. Uh, this measure would allow the Secretary of State's office to charge up to $750 to cover the cost of an initiative petition. Critics of this measure says it will make the citizen-led process take longer and cost taxpayers more money. Uh, the bill passed the Republican Majority Senate 38 Eight. It now heads to the House for full consideration. So it is something to keep an eye out on. And of course, we'll follow the latest developments for it. But for now, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio.